While they still have the most wins in the NBA, the Celtics are just four and five in their last nine. They've suffered their second straight loss last night at the hands of the Knicks. But Boston star guard Kyrie Irving says no reason to worry. You know, everybody else in the world is going to hit the panic button. So, I'm making it sense for us to hit it. It's part of the game. Second back to back loss of, uh, of our season. Um, you know, just consistently learning. And that's what it's about, you know, especially in a developing group like we have here. I mean, he seems chill enough to me, Paul. Time to worry or not? I'm a little concerned because you can control defense. And that's one thing they haven't been consistently doing is playing harder on defense, rebounding the ball like they did at the beginning of the year. Yeah. Now, offensively, the ball is going to go in some nights. Some nights it's not going to fall. But defensively, I think you can control your effort and how hard you play and the system they put in. And that's a little concerning. And they haven't been consistent with that over the last 17 games. So I'm a little worried that... You know, they're having some slippage in the defense because defense is one that's going to keep you winning long term. Mm -hmm. And they shouldn't worry about offense. So, yeah. a little concerned. I think that's good for them. I oh, think okay. they got a lot of young guys on that team that haven't been through anything. I think they got to go through some adversity, some bumps, and some bruises before they get to the end of this year because they're going to face that monster at the end. And you better have gone through something before you get there. God, Chauncey Coach, loves I'm for going, people to do that. I'm going, I'm going exactly where you're going, Coach. <laughs> I, I made a statement early in the season that they hadn't been through any adversity. Right. I, I apologize. Well, I'll they take that back because Gordon Hayward's right? issue Hayward. was, that was no, major that's adversity. Some adversity. However, what I meant was when they were on that big streak, I want to see this team go through a little something. Mm -hmm. Five and four in their last nine games mm -hmm. or five-game losing streak. They yes. hadn't seen anything like that yet. Now I'm interested. Exactly. I want right. to see what, where they go from here. Who's the leader of this team? Who's, when that, when that tent is folding, which guy is in there holding up that, that tent in there to make sure everybody's okay? This is why Kyrie came here. Yeah, now this right. is your team. I want to see what he learned from LeBron when you, when you have to step up and be a leader and maybe do or say some things that are unpopular. I want to see if he learned that. So now... I'm interested. I want to see what happens. This is no the thing, about Chauncey. It. How many teams have you seen in the NBA have a 17-game win streak in the same year lose four, five out of nine? Yeah. yeah. You know, that doesn't really go together. You know, a team that gets a 17-game win streak, right. you don't really see a, a right. lull in the season where they're going 500 in the next 10 games. You know, you've been on teams where you guys have winning streaks, coach. Mm -hmm. You can assess it at... And those are the type of teams that don't lose three games in a row in a season. Uh, I've been on the team, Paul. We, we, we won. When I was with the Clippers, we won like 17 straight games a whole month. Right. But I can honestly tell you, we got worse Johnson's every single game. <laughs> we Here got we worse go. every yeah. single game. We won 27 <laughs> straight and was losing going into the fourth quarter of every one of them games. I mean, that's so, stressful, too. I mean, you're talking about, but it, again, you I think. You see those lows, yeah, those type of lows. But I think the reason that you're seeing is because they have, they're depending on a lot of young guys. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, the NBA season is a long season especially rookies and, and second-year players, they always hit some kind of wall during mm -hmm. the year. It mm -hmm. wears on them mentally. They snap back, and then they get back to playing. Better now That's than good. later, right? Yeah, better now than later. Figure it out. But there's just something about a great team and being consistent yeah. throughout a whole season. Yeah. You know, that's just that's why it's concerning to mm -hmm. me. You know, you don't see those kind of drop-offs from great teams. Well, this is the team, Paul Pierce. <laughs> that's why I'm a little, that's it, why it's I'm their concerned. time. I, that's why it's I'm concerned. their time is what you said, Mr. Pierce. I believe that. I mean, if they can still continue, believe that, huh? I still believe it. I still believe they have a chance. They have a puncher's chance. I like that. That's the optimism we've grown to love. From that's the all-time Celtic <laughs> that we've grown to love. <laughs> exactly so right. That's, that's home cooking, brother, right there. <laughs>